99 years ago, philanthropist Andrew Carnegie gave noted educator Abraham Flexner an awesome responsibility to investigate 155 medical schools from Texas to Toronto and report on where he found outstanding medical education producing world-class physicians. In the end, only one school met Flexner's rigorous standards, Johns Hopkins. Hopkins, Flexner wrote, is, quote, the first medical school in America of genuine university type with well-equipped laboratories conducted by modern teachers devoting themselves unreservedly to medical investigation and instruction, in which the training of the physicians and the healing of the sick harmoniously combine to the infinite advantage of both. The influence of this new foundation can hardly be overstated. That report revolutionized medical training. Ever since, Johns Hopkins medical students have been trained by outstanding faculty, including some 20 Nobel Prize winners. U.S. News & World Report has rated Johns Hopkins as the best hospital in America for 19 straight years. A century after Flexner's findings, medical education is again at a crossroads. Again, Johns Hopkins has stepped to the fore. Our Genes to Society curriculum, premiering this August, represents another quantum leap forward in medical education. It gives students extensive contact with patients from their first day at Johns Hopkins and creates a framework in which students explore biological issues of health in the context of the social, cultural, psychological, and environmental variables facing the patient. But you don't have to take our word for it. Read what our students and residents themselves have to say about the areas of Johns Hopkins that drew them here. In their words, we hope you'll find answers to many of your questions. We invite you to join them and us in the adventure that is Johns Hopkins Medicine.